Hey, my name is Mark, and in this video, I'm going to show you the five and a half reasons why I think that digital paper is uh, better than analog paper. So let's get started. So let's start with reason number one. Uh, the first reason for me is that there is the technique uh, with writing is basically the same. So no difference uh, between um, digital paper and let me demonstrate analog paper. So this means basically it's the same work you have to do. You have to hold a pen, you can rest your palm on the paper, you can rest your palm on the screen and write. So um, this uh, means there is, uh, yeah, there's no difference. So you don't have to learn anything new, which is quite good. And let's come to some uh, real advantages, speed, because I think it's all about uh, speed when you're taking notes. Um, you can, of course, uh, the writing speed is the same. I'd say there is no difference if I write speed here, if I write speed there, uh, it's almost the same. But then again, when you like want to choose the color or something, um, you're a lot quicker here. Just one press and uh, have a different color. You even can uh, change the color after you wrote something, like uh, speed is something positive. So green, if you want to have this on paper, you have to take another pen, then you have to write Analog, analog is slow. Um, and what I have here, digital, if analog is slow, then digital is fast. So let's say digital is fast. And um, all I have to do if I want to change the color now, just circle it around. Here is the uh, right click button on the side of the surface pan. Choose a different color. And um, that's what I'm talking about. Basically, you have unlimited colors here, you have different thicknesses, uh, you can uh, choose a rainbow color if you want to. Let's mm, just, just some rainbows around here. Um, this is what I think. This is a lot faster when you're in the process of writing than it is with uh, analog paper. And uh, another thing, and you can, you already saw it I think a little bit, is uh, creativity because I think you have unlimited space here unlimited space, um, where you have on a paper, you have a very limited space basically. All you can do is you have this, the height, the weight, and uh, this is a limited space. So if you want to draw something, and then again, I basically used all the space on this one. Let's draw some houses here, and let's put a road here, whatever. Um, the same thing here is, a lot different because let's say I want to um, have the road here, zoom out a little bit. Um, let's say I want to have the road or the river or whatever. Let's uh, say this isn't a road. Let's say this is a river. And uh, let's say we want to have the houses on the other side. So we have drag and drop and you see it when I'm using it. I'm a lot quicker. I can change the size of the houses. I can uh, draw a rainbow bridge in here. Um, you can't do this here. It's uh, There is no drag and drop. You, you can't try to, uh, let me get this here. You can't try to uh, use a knife or something and uh, get it out. So there's sort of a drag and drop. Oops, Allah. But, okay, to be honest, this isn't quite the same. Uh, I hope you agree. Um, okay, number four, organization. Um, you have different topics, you have different notebooks, you have, a, let's say you have a notebook for work, you have one for uh, school, you have uh, one for your holiday. Um, oops, a lot, let's, the eraser. The eraser is such a nice thing. Um, you're getting so much quicker using digital notes. And uh, the main advantage for me is that uh, no matter how many notebooks you have, uh, if you use OneNote, you can have unlimited notebooks, unlimited sections, unlimited pages, and um, then unlimited space, where with this here, you always have like uh, one paper, you don't have the right notebook with you. Um, I have got all my notebooks on this device, so let's uh, say this is my surface. And um, this is the... And uh, I don't care what, uh, what topic uh, I have to tackle because um, all my notebooks are stored 
or I have access to them all at the same time. I even can search for things like this. Using the search um, is another video I'm going to talk about. Uh, but for now, um, it's so easy to organize yourself here. You have the sections, you can drag and drop them. Um, you can copy and paste. Uh, of course, uh, if you have drag and drop, you also can copy things and stuff like that. You can't do that with analog paper. And um, Reason number five is security because all my notebooks are stored in the cloud. So let's again, let's draw a device here. So here is the kickstand. Now this isn't, this wasn't nice. Oh, did I show you this feature here where you can like, it automatically creates shapes for you? This is nice, right? <laughs> you can't do that with analog paper. Uh, so, but talking about security, um, I don't care. Uh, all my notebooks are stored in the cloud, so in OneDrive. That means uh, also I can have access with my mobile phone. Um, this isn't a good mobile phone. Let's draw it like this. So, with my mobile phone, home button here. And um, I don't care if I lose, okay. Obviously, I do care if I lose my surface, uh, but this, this isn't the bad or the worst thing. The worst thing, all my informations which are stored in my notebook, if I'd lose them, this would be a total disaster. So it's only a small disaster if I lose my surface or my mobile phone because all the data is saved in OneDrive. And uh, with analog paper, if you lose that, yeah, you're basically screwed because most of the people don't uh, make backup copies uh, from their paper. You start with a blank page if you, if you use your paper notebook. And uh, the reason uh, five, I said there's, in this video we're going to show you um, five and a half reasons. And so let's talk about the half reasons. I think this isn't a real reason, but it's something nice because uh, you can't, uh, you can't like mess your Hands, you know, this stuff here like that. This can happen with uh, digital ink because digital ink only writes on a digital screen. So um, that's all. This was my five and a half reasons why I think that digital paper is better than analog paper. I hope you agree. If you don't agree, uh, put it down in the comment. If you agree, give it a thumb up. Uh, I'm Mark for, uh, for Microblog. Thanks for watching.